Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Last time we got the combat knife and there's this taped up junction box over here, so we're gonna hit that up and raise the shutter. This is not how I imagined my first day. We also got this spiffy new outfit. We are rapidly running out of space. Push comes to shove, I'll combine the two herbs together. Hey, that works out pretty well too. Seems like we can stack the handgun bullets pretty high. <laughs> that lighting change. Mmm, don't trust the window. Windows and Resident Evil as an iconic duo are fucked up. looking that's so good I'm telling you this photogrammetry tech at it again was morbid you could even say macabre what is this all about oh hello <laughs> Guessing we can do something with the window, which she just broke through. Maybe if I'm quick enough, I can avoid her. Turn the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress and not the zombie outbreak. No, never that. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. Few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m., Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here, David Ford. Okay, we're gonna... She's not coming in, so... Oh, I'm... Speak of the devil. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hasten our uh, search through this place. And hope that there is another exit or a way to... Uh, to get around her when she busts in. That map is helpful. Mm. Good. Good, good, good. Are you... Okay, good. I would love it if I could just sneak by you into this hallway. Safety deposit. And then we have another hall down. Oh, hey. Fuck. Oh, what the hell? Come on. Okay, only three. I'm happy with this. Just in case, though. Okay. I was waiting to see if maybe he would move or stir. A door here. So we have a lot of options. I think there were two doors and then a long corridor and then this one. Yeah, that's not budging. Guess we're going to open that from the other side. Did I ever specify that this is a blind playthrough? Because... Yeah, obviously it is. Oh, cool. 
Well, two of them are missing. Uh, let's see if we can get some combinations. Here's a keypad, lockers, terminals, missing a few keys. Find some spare keys, fix this right now. Okay. So it was two and three that are missing. Two oh three, there's some kind of pouch in there. We're missing both two and three, so we're not opening that anytime soon. These are all twos, so. Shotgun shells, looks like? Oh, there's the shotgun. Nah, not yet. Okay, 109. We can open this. Assuming the code's... What the fuck? Oh, is that the guy from the vending machine? No, this is skinny. This dude's skinnier. No. Oh, every single... Oh. Shit! Oh my god. The panic. It's real. And it... It sends that hang in your chest when you miss. God damn. Another one, huh? Okay. Before you come in, 109, 103, 106. Okay, 106 and 109 are the ones I can get in right now. That's vending machine boy, I think. Only two for you? I don't trust that. Okay. Any more surprises? No? We're good? Okay. Oh man, all those missed shots hurt my soul. And the irony of it is... If I just YOLO'd it, uh, and relied on muscle memory to snap to him, I could probably hit way more shots, but ammo is so precious and scarce that I'm afraid to and that overthinking it is interfering with my muscle memory. So it's causing me to miss way more shots hesitating like that and trying to line it up slowly and perfectly. I'm 99% sure I've talked about this recently, but that's one of the theories for why people choke under pressure. You start to overthink your actions that are, are drilled into your muscle memory. It's called the... Ooh, I knew it. It's called the explicit monitoring theory. And this is actually really brilliant, the switch to Shit. an over-the-shoulder camera and no auto-aim like, uh, like RE1. Which is just top-down tank... or not top-down, but tank control, fixed camera angle, automatic lock-on, stuff like that. The brilliance here is that the tension is actually sabotaging you. Uh, your first assignment is to open your, to unlock your desk. The initials of our names, input the letters in order of our desks. There's two locks, one on each side. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that out, that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. But, uh, by the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. I don't have all those yet. I'll get those soon. Uh, what I was saying is that the tension actually sabotages your muscle memory in a really cool way. It compounds itself because you miss any shot and there's this visceral shock of, of terror that, oh god, I'm wasting ammo. And then you waste more ammo. Okay, double white is handgun. You can make shotgun a magnum too. Cool. So that's just a, a long-term staple, is the mixing and matching of gunpowder types. Okay, this pathway is really branching out, cool. Safe. Wow, there's a lot in here that I'm not ready to access yet. Yeah. 
Yeah. Where did that even come? I'm stuck in here. I can only go out the one way for now. Hey, here we go. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, too many skirmishes. Drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. Why would the museum need a secret tunnel? Brush your idea off before... But now, it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. So we have a couple more names. Oh, shit! Where did you... Oh! The dude slumped in the corner. I should have been more suspicious about that. Also, I was told that if you wait for the reticle to contract, uh, the critical hits do more damage. Oh, I get my knife back! Cool. I can pull it out of his body. Noticing a bar on there, is that durability? I thought the knife would be permanent. That makes sense. The, that's more like how the knives were in RE1 is they were impermanent, one-time use things, so it's kind of an in-between. Not loving this. Hello? Oh, crap. Need to combine these. Good. I have a strong heal, too. Okay, is this what I think it is? Sturdy pieces of wood that can be used to board up windows. Yeah! Where'd it go? Did I not pick it up? I only inspected it? Oh, okay. Oh, I hope he has a person through a window before I can board it. Good. Yeah, fucker. <laughs> He's gonna move like one window down and just bust through that one. That would be mean. More gunpowder, great. I'll keep those separate for now. Green herbs heal basic injuries. Blue herbs used to treat poisoning. Red herbs visually appealing, no medicinal benefits, or it was thought until recently. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produce, uh, a bl produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Health up? Cool. I don't have any blues yet. Or reds for that matter. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that roll of film. Oh, hi. Noticing no safe room music, which is... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Films contain, film contains evidence. There's red herb. Commemorative photo. Bring a key in a book. That doesn't go in the inventory. Uh, okay. Can probably check that from the memos if needed, or when needed. Alright, cool. This is a really convenient safe room. Yeah! Can't get me here. Don't! You can. Where are you? There you are. I'm worried this one on my left is about to bite me. Oh, uh, good. Okay. Are you alive? Since that one got up, I have to be paranoid of you all now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bitch. 
Can we get away with two? No, what? it's still gonna be three. The one rattling away on that window is, uh, it's making this a lot more tense. I have to say, I am in love with this atmosphere. Steam. Missing the valve. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Wow, a lot of these, huh? It's beginning to feel like I've missed something. Shotgun shells again. Portable safe instructions. Press the button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. Buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single one out of order causes all the lights to go out. You'll need to start the sequence over again. Oh, oh? So it's just a trial and error puzzle, I think? Boop, boop. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that was just trial and error. Oh, we got the uh, the spare keycap, one of them. It's not marked, though. Okay, so we're going to have to come back here uh, to do the valve anyway. So eventually we will get the combination for that padlock. So I'm feeling fine about that. So what... Is that the one that's outside banging on the window? Um... Little concerned about that. Another one. Hey, there's my spade key. Oh, cool. They mark all that stuff on the map. Yeah, so we have plenty to backtrack to. Makes sense. What in the... What the fuck was that? Because, like, zombies aren't climbing through the upper floor windows, right? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I am rapidly running out of inventory space, so... We might have to leave this stuff here for a minute. We do have the safe room just beneath us. Just a couple floors directly down. Again, they are giving us these boards, so 
You never know what's climbing through the windows up here, I guess. No prompt to board those up, though. Any survivors? Consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats. Oh, God. As long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns a-blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible. Anyway, now that I want to go, but duty calls. Oh, shit. Liquor is already, huh? Ooh, got that real uncomfortable feeling in my spine now. Mmm, don't like it. Ugh. <sighs> got a real heap of jeeb. Heebs and or jeebs. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty clear that we're going to be doing a lot of backtracking, not just because it's Resident Evil, but because they give us this actually really cool uh, ability to board up windows so you can strategically choose which ones. What the fuck? Okay, you can break the window, but you're not getting past the boards. That's fine. Um, Yeah, you can pick and choose which ones you board up especially if you if you get the feeling that you're gonna be in an area more than once all right i think that's gonna do it for now thank you all for watching take it easy have a good one uh actually before i go let me just do this real quick and then we'll go and make more space okay so that's two so which ones can we open? Or which ones have things worth opening? Can't do 203 yet. Why is one of them alive? We can do 208. What the? Oh, I thought it was being dragged. Oh, come on. I did not realize you were still up. And you're still alive. Oh my god! Come on! Armly zombie bit me. Bit me in the ankle. Okay, so we got 208. Two oh eight and one oh two. Shotgun shells and one oh two. Okay, cool. Get more of those. I cannot wait to get that key card that unlocks the locker in the back with a shotgun. Oh, I will feel so much better. This game does a wonderful job about building tension, by the way. And atmosphere. I'm, I'm just loving it. Really having a good time with this. Alright, thank you all for watching this time for real. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, everyone.